This program contains strong language from the outset and throughout. This week's assignment surrounds self-confidence. And to give it to you, an esteemed intellect, one of the most flamboyant minds working in academia today, a don at Queen's College, please welcome Professor Jody Hart. <laughs> Jodie Harsh, she has encouraged the LGBT community to live their truth, and I really respect that. I'm here to help you unleash your inner drag queen. Woo! I've heard there's a few <laughs> drama queens here already, so uh, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. In this assignment, we'll transform you all into drag queens and drag kings. You will each need to create a complete drag character. Oh, so nice. a name and a personality to go with your outfit yes. and your look. It's a bit tricky, obviously, being uh, transgender, female to male, you know. Dressing up as a woman again is, is it's a little bit strange. In your teams, you'll then be asked to choreograph a lip sync performance with the help of me and some drag professionals. Gareth there with a face that says, I sincerely regret doing this show. After your performance, you will each individually introduce your drag persona to the judging panel. Each team will be judged on the following four criteria. Drag characters and outfits. Dance and stage presence. Confidence and commitment to the role. And teamwork. I have an esteemed colleague with me today. Give it up for Professor Tom Reed Wilson. <laughs> Freshers, how are you? Fantastic. Hi. I'm going to be drawing upon my erstwhile thespian existence to teach you lessons in speech, poise, and confidence. So, Refreshers, the assignment is set. Self-confidence, get out. It's going to bring everyone out of their comfort zone. Heavily frowned upon in my culture, man. Heavily, heavily frowned upon. There's a whole stigma about mm, black men dressing up as women. I'm a showman. You know, you put me on stage and I'll perform. If it was theatre and I had to dress as a woman, I dress as a woman. F the haters, man. Who's the most nervous? Really? Myself. Why do you feel nervous? Obviously, I was female before. Now I'm very masculine, and just to kind of go back and wear dresses and makeup yeah. is, uh, is quite daunting. I always daunting. think, though, that drag is, is a massive exaggeration of what we perceive as femininity, I think. So it's kind, of a, it's kind of a chance to forget about our real lives for a moment and really kind of just, like, let rip and give a good show. Understood. Quite a good job of walking in high heels. As you can see in the background, Evan can't even stand in them. Nice pose at the end. Hands on the hips. Fierce. <laughs> He's killing me. That is a glamorous woman. <laughs> oh. oh my. Guys, have a take him up, please. Oh, there she is. Okay. Evan in heels, I think he's pretty on the fact that he can't walk in it for attention. It's just for attention. I know it is. Yeah, we got a bit of work to do, I think. Yeah, you do. And not just with this team. Let's see how Team Gareth are getting on. Let's see with your heels on then, let's have a go. Socks or no socks? Uh, no socks, no cheating. Gareth's a bit concerned about the response that he could get because where he's from, so to keep on pushing through that is really admirable. I feel like Bambi. How do you do this? No one said it was gonna be easy. Work it, bitch. Yeah, bitch. A lot of work still to be done. As it's more to drag than just walking in heels. What would you say in terms of stage names? I mean, you can pull names from anywhere, really. It can be like a comedy play on an existing name. Any comedy ideas, guys? I don't know. I'm thinking something quite funny, like Fanny Pack. <laughs> what do you think to that? I like it. <laughs> he, he's having a heart attack right there. <laughs> yeah. Um... I feel like we can. I feel like we can improve that. 